yes students now let us come back and start the next reaction of your ncrt that is reaction of a base with a metal what did we learn in the previous video it was reaction of acid with a metal what conclusion did we come where we have said acid plus metal gives me salt plus hydrogen gas done in that i have given one question important question i say is hydrogen gas released with nitric acid we said no because nitric acid is an oxidizing agent it will immediately convert hydrogen gas to water and along with that some oxides of nitrogen are also released that is like no no2 in that way now let's see this reaction it's a similar same thing now let, let us remember <coughs> base plus metal is going to give me salt plus hydrogen gas same story now let us take one example i think you would have watched the previous video students see my these lines are not at all straight it's okay but for us concept is important correct yes so what have we learned we have learned a reactivity series where potassium is a highly reactive metal which we said wire is coming okay so highly reactive metal now in that i said all the highly reactive metals you can pick any metal and do same story now i am going to take a base which base i am going to take sodium hydroxide is a base why it is a base because it has oh minus ions done after that i am going to take zinc now the concept here is sodium hydroxide if i take excess mam what is excess basically this is one mole of this if i take two moles of this it's going to combine just see here it is two moles of na but when it is reacting this becomes na2 it combines zn oxygen is already 2 o2 done students now what is left hydrogen is left with two so here it becomes hydrogen gas simple isn't it so base plus salt metal also is again salt plus hydrogen gas right there is an oxide in the salt remember that earlier it was zinc chloride magnesium chloride aluminium chloride here i have taken excess of sodium hydroxide with the metal so <coughs> sodium hydroxide with metal gives me sodium zincate let us write that this is sodium hydroxide okay sodium hydroxide is a name which is given what is other name given for sodium hydroxide it is nothing but caustic soda let us write that caustic soda zinc is this metal now what is the name of this sodium zincate let us write the name sodium zincate zincate is a name this is as usual hydrogen when you put an up arrow it is nothing but hydrogen gas yes students done there are three things which you have to remember when you put an up arrow it is a gaseous gaseous product when i put a down arrow it is a precipitate which is formed suppose if i am not writing down arrow i write ppt yes students done okay when i put one symbol like this one heat means energy heat is required for processing the reaction right now so what did we come, come to conclusion we have come acid plus metal salt plus hydrogen base plus metal i took this example with sodium zincate is a product form and hydrogen gas let us come back and do that activity in the form of an animation which will be attached after this video right now in the reaction of a base with a metal they they'll ask you one question which is a metal which is highly preferred to react with the base remember aluminum is a metal so aluminum is a metal which reacts with sodium hydroxide forming sodium aluminate right <coughs> any yes sodium aluminate plus hydrogen gas now next important thing you have to remember again they are going to ask you one more question which is a metal which will not react with sodium hydroxide so metals which do not react with base or either react with base so answer should be your answer should be gold au is gold and platinum so gold and platinum are the metals which will not react with the base so add on this question to that uh, students yes
Thank you.